Welcome to Rwanda, the heart of Africa and the rising star of Africa. My name is Claire Kamanzi. I am a Chief Operating Officer at the Rwanda Development Board. In the amazing series, you will learn the past of Rwanda, you will learn the history of Rwanda, but in it also, you will learn the future of Rwanda, where this country is going and how this country epitomizes the hope and the dreams of Africans. Thank you for joining Amazing Series. I am in Africa's rising star, Rwanda. And the best thing about Rwanda, I will tell you, is it has probably the largest representation of women in parliament. So I thought it would be fitting to have three ambitious, game-changing women. I think that's what I'll say. Game-changing women who can talk to us about the new face of Rwanda. Women, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Clearly, we can't talk about the present and the future without touching on the past. We all suffered from the genocide that Rwanda went through in 1994. Unfortunately, the world did not act soon enough. And because the, the world turned a blind eye, many people, close to a million, if not over a million people, lost their lives. Working together, do you guys talk about your grief? your trauma, the, the horror that you faced as a nation, or is it brushed under the carpet of reconciliation, let's move on. How do you handle it? I'll, I'll give my own personal example of, of my family, okay. where I have uh, part of my, my, my family was here and, and they were all killed. And when we came back, uh, you have a group of, of, of people who say, who agree they killed the family. And here they are. You need to live with them. So there are people who killed your family. Yes, and that, you, that you see, mm -hmm. and you know they killed your family. Yes, and and here they are. You're living with them side by side. They're your neighbors. Your children go to school with their children. And there's something I've learned about this. You don't forget and forgive. You either forgive and you know, you keep on remembering and say, yes, I know you killed, but I've forgiven you. And this is what is happening in Rwanda. Do you tell them that or you just yes, tell Yes, you have to. Because if you don't, you're either going to, to do something terrible or you're going to die with, in despair somewhere in your bed. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the end of the story. So you'll have to remember that. Live with that, reconcile and forgive, but never forget. That's the reality in this country. Do you allow your we children to play them. together? Your children play together with them. We say hello to them every morning. I mean, that's the reality. That's not just me. Mm -hmm. This is what we're living with. And I'm proud that most Rwandans are moving past this. Yesterday I spent the day at uh, Namara, mm -hmm. uh, the church, and there was a wall that just had where the children were thrown against the wall, just the blood of children on it. But do any of you go to the sites to visit oh, yeah, the sites? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You visit the sites? Um, yeah, for me that site that I'm talking about changed my life a lot. Yeah. Because when I looked at that site, I was like, what kind of person would kill a child? Yeah. Because in our language, there's a proverb that says that that age that was being accused at that time was uh, in such a mm -hmm. That smile, uh, I don't know. The the child who smiles for an enemy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You don't care who you smile yeah. for because you're a child. No, even if they're coming to sh to hit you with a machete, yeah. they smile, yeah. and you still go ahead and you know like yeah. shut those smiles down for the rest of your life. So, but I the the triumphant story about Rwanda is even if the smiles were shut for a moment. It wasn't for eternity. Tell me, what are Rwandese doing to transform their country? Rwanda is a country in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that is what I can tell you as of now. When I came here, um, of course, like I said, all these stories were running through, uh, interacting with people who were here before me, mm -hmm. who knew, who know actually how this country was before. Yeah. And the difference between then and now, it's just magnificent. Yeah. That is all I can say. It's yeah. just incredible. I'll just, I'll just draw this picture. When our president wakes up in the morning, on the last Saturday of the month, um, he's got a wreck, he's got um, a broom, and, and he's on the streets, he's cleaning the streets. Yes. And this is a clear example that in Rwanda, no one is above the law. 
everybody is united yeah. to one goal. Mm -hmm. This is where we are determined to go and this is where we are going no matter what. Those are the principles of this country. What would you want the world to know about your Rwanda? <laughs> Faith, what do you want the world to know? What we want the world to learn about us is that we've chosen the, the, the path of reconciling, number two, and we've chosen the path of saying we can do it ourselves. Yeah. We can do it. Yes, we can. That's all people can learn from Rwanda. If we can come from 1994 to where we are right now, then who cannot be there? Flora. Well, I second what Faith has said. And for someone who has talked to people who have very different perceptions about this country, and when, when you talk about the Rwanda, they're like, okay, Rwanda people are still killing each other there, aren't they? And do you walk the streets? Are you safe on the streets? Will you get to where you're going without being attacked? There's, there are still some people who are very blind. They don't know what is happening in this country. So my message is just plain and clear. Come and see. That's true. Yeah, come and see is the right thing. Because really, one thing people must know that Rwanda is one of the most beautiful countries. We have the most beautiful landscape and the culture is so beautiful and also there's a strong positive spirit on the ground. Rwanda is not a jungle, you know, yeah. it's, people smile, people, there's that positive spirit that is on the ground that is really good and like Faith just said, the best way to know a place is to visit, the best place, the best way to you to know me is to come talk to me. Yeah. Come visit what I'm doing, come see what I'm doing. I think you, you have touched on it which is come and see yeah. and i started off by telling you that rwanda is the rising star of africa and i tell you with every fiber of my being that in living here just for a few days i so want everybody to come here to see what i've seen mm -hmm. that your, your your real estate has developed your businesses have boomed mm -hmm. your your, your cult culturally you've also grown but beyond that the level of unity togetherness that has come out of the, the, the horrific episode of 1994. You need to come because when you're in this country, you learn something about forgiveness, about reconciliation, and about unity. And I have to tell you, just being around you three people, I feel like I've just grown. Like you talk and I'm in awe of you. And you're such powerful women, and you're powerful women because you've been raised and nurtured in a very, very positive and powerful environment. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on Thank Amazing you. Series. Amazing Series.